Alright, so first, I want to start by saying Kal, Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Rakakodash, which is to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of James Graham and Stone, and to you who came out there pushing this truth. Shalom, this is Brother Kanan from James Jamaica, and again, just with another lesson. And, you know, just showing you that. Things are steaming up here, and um, the video that I have on screen is basically to show you that this dictator, Mr. Sir Honorable Brogan Andrew Holness, you know, bad boy Andrew Holness, <laughs> you know, is just showing you that we are looking into doomsday, really. And why am I saying this? Because Mr. Burgard himself is basically ready to implement more SOE, State of Emergency, which is basically curfews and lockdown. And this is his crime fighting strategy. You know what I mean? Now, bear in mind, persons are out of jobs, going out of jobs. There's no solution for persons that are not in a job or you know how persons are going to be able to feed their families you know what i mean you're not hearing any, any of these solutions from these clones these so-called leaders that are leading people astray you know what i mean but you're hearing more about more lockdowns and bear in mind we are entering into uh, almost a 72 hour curfew where everyone is basically expected to stay inside. One or 72 hours, but I think they're gonna let you out like for a couple hours and then they have to go back in. You know? Bad boy, I hurt, man. But, anyways, why am I saying that doomsday is that, is that and one of the scripture prophesy after all of this? You know what I mean? And recently, uh, two scriptures, well, from my mouth, have uh, been coming out often like almost every video i've been doing these two precepts are coming out and it's speaking to sedition and, and to martial law basically because that's exactly what is happening and coming it's just that it is not at the full extent um where it is really chaotic like it's going to be you know what i mean so i'm gonna play part of the video or maybe all of it because it's a small video and then i'm gonna read the scriptures Again, which is no stranger. All right, so let's play the video and die second. Of states of public emergency, that from Prime Minister Andrew Holness, who was speaking with our reporter Kirk Wright today in a one-on-one -on -one interview. Since the corona pandemic began to dominate the news in 2020, the government has focused much of its attention on cauterizing the disease. But the latest crime figures show that murders are up which is one of the country's most concerning, now stands at three... Bear in mind, sorry to, to stop it there. Bear in mind, their countermeasure for the coronavirus is lockdown, curfews, quarantine. Those are the countermeasures, which should be helping to, solve, to prevent crime because persons are now forced to stay in just like these curfews that are coming but with all of that being done crime is still climbing so i'm not i don't know if i'm not thinking smart or these men are just extra smart than you know than us but just think of that just make a little note of that right 169 since january 1 a five percent increase over the comparative period last year causing concern oh and remember more Robberies is taking place now because persons are no oh the streets are no lonely more persons are being attacked in certain hours of the day because the street is empty you know i mean you can easily do whatever you're doing and get away with it and many stores are not properly secured um with whatever security system so persons are now um making attacks on these stores causing breakings and taking what they want to take you know what i mean so it's an there's an increase in all of these aspects and because people are hungry and persons are, are preying on these opportunities that are being created right so let's continue be with the prime minister today 
he admits there is a serious crime problem. The level of violence that we are seeing associated with crimes is far greater than the capacity of our policing force to address with normal policing measures. Pause. Good point there, but I just need to mention something from the Bible. Because the Bible tells us that the more the days continue, the eviler times will be. Evils will increase. Wickedness will increase. Which shows that we are currently heading to the return of our Lord and Savior, which his name is Yahawashah. All right? So, that's one major point for you to take in consideration there because this is all prophecies. All right? All prophecy. Second thing, he states this is not normal. It is it's not going to be... You cannot use normal crime fighting strategy to stop the level of crime that is taking place. They don't have the policing to do so, which is why they are using these SOE, states of emergency, to deter or to basically try to quell it, which is really what? To basically um, instill doubt or fear to anyone, uh, for any consequence, you know what I mean? To discourage anyone from trying to do things. But the thing is, the police force is not big enough, they are not equipped enough to police Jamaica. Right now, they are locked down. If the people were to be unruly and say, look here, we're going to keep parties. There are some parties that you can lock down, but you can't lock down everything. And if there was a chaos or a riot throughout the street, the police force will not be able to bring peace and stability to the country overall. And I think that these men are fully aware that the country is close to that point. So they are trying to deter or to discourage or to drive fear in the population that look here, we are here, what are you doing? So, but the thing is, when a man back is against the wall, there is no more fear and that day is coming very sharp because persons are going hungry days upon days with no solution and you don't hear any strategy to resolve that part of the problem. So yeah, the, 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 it is inevitable, all right? So let's continue. So who's going to, 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 to police the, um, Jamaica when Jamaica go, go up in uproar? They're going to have to use outside forces to try and bring some form of stability. But the thing is, the entire world will go in chaos at one point. So they're going to leave you in Jamaica to die. You know what I mean? They're going to leave, at one point, they're going to leave you to die for hunger. They're going to leave you to kill yourself. Because all of this is a population control system designed by the elites, the so-called white man. You know what I mean? It's just trickling down into society and it looks like it's up naturally, it was designed. You know what I mean? So, famine is coming. You know what I mean? Famine is coming. Chaos is coming. Sedition is coming. And you people seem to not understand this. So let's, how are you going to survive in that day, in those days? How are you going to solve it? Because the police force will not be able to, to, um, to save you. And again, for females that are trying to um, protect our women or whatever, right? And children, right? For persons that are crying about that. When chaos and hell break loose and it's every man for themselves, who is going to protect the females? Who are going to protect the children? Because it's going to be every man for themselves. You heard that song that um, uh, Damon Marley uh, sing? Um, uh, for, I don't remember exactly where for like you're saying, first it's going to be him, family, then it's going to be, basically, it, 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 I'm going to show you the, the trickling down of how it's going to be, the group is going to set. So, it's going to be like, okay, country for themselves, then a family for themselves, then it's going to be for that people, them, like the family going to be, till it's going to reach a point to every man for themselves, yo. That's going to be chaos. Every man actually going to stand on them own and for them own survival. And who is going to protect the weaker vessel, the female? We don't believe that she's a weaker vessel. But because society is still keeping and there are still a police force and persons out there that are still in the good interest of them, 
even though they are wicked for most part and think that they are equal and think that they can talk to you any way they want to talk, you see me? Who will protect these seniors in the time to come? All right, let me not show you the, the point. Let's go back to the, the chaos. Uh, the level of violence that we are seeing is over and beyond what could be considered normal in any free and democratic society. And therefore, there is a need to use extraordinary and emergency powers. The Prime Minister said emergency power, that's what state of it, yeah? Right? Emergency power, because the country is in a emer according to these men, they know that uh, this, this shit is going to hit the fan. And they're just setting up, you know, their, their, their thing so they can deter you at this time. Because when you get out of them now have no option. You're going to have police and soldiers going rogue because they're going to fend for themselves also. And the police force is done limited. As there's now a need to draw for extraordinary and emergency powers. And by that he means the states of public emergency, along with the zones of special operations, which he said will be implemented in more communities this year. But keep in mind that the government is now going through a legal issue with using the SOEs. We will resolve. Right, legal issues because they've been abusing it. And that is what it is, warlike laws. They are going to abuse your right. You're not going to have certain privileges, privilege that you were given before. That is what it is. They're taking and you've sat down, watch it happen, and you're going to just sit down and watch it happen again. No, I'm not saying that you should resist or to try it because we know much better that these things must come to pass. You know what I mean? And when, they, when, we're, when we're seeing these things, it means that salvation is near. We're just waiting for the world to collapse, for the money to go to collapse. For, for them to try to implement the new world order because in doing so they have to destroy this foundation which is going to kill a lot of people you know what I mean so it have to go you know a lot of people stubborn don't want to listen to the words of their father so you're going to have to die in that rush and for that for the, for the better to come after that, that, that cleaning up then the Lord is going to bring in his kingdom alright the, um, the legal issues that have been raised and we will utilize those powers to bring relief, emergency relief, to the, to the people of the country. As we have done in the past, the use of those powers, however, must be... Uh, First and foremost, no Jamaican, so-called Jamaican, which you are Benjamite, sons of uh, Israel, you know what I mean, predominantly. Is really no one in Jamaica is asking for any more lockdown because you've been locking down the country. The country has been on a lockdown. We've been on an emergency for quite some time with the coronavirus emergency because your um, disaster act. That's an emergency act, right? So we're under emergency act. We've been under the state of emergency act. The country is in a state of emergency, and people are failing to accept that. I'm failing to, to realize that this is chaos. If you continue like this, it's going to be chaos and it is what is coming. Alright, so I'm going to read a scripture real quick. This is um, 2 Ezra uh, 15 and verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction dry at night. What does it mean by the sword and destruction dry at night? Your time is coming, yo. The time of chaos is coming. And one people shall stand up against another people, which is what race war. Well, remember I told you it's gonna be a, everybody for themselves. So, the, so you, even in Jamaica, you're gonna have the Chinese segregating, you're gonna have the Syrian segregating, you're gonna have the so-called white segregating. Even though there's a small sect of them in Jamaica, you know what I mean. But they still have this outer one many people, you know what I mean. Which mean we are of different races. A lot of persons are here from different races as so-called Jamaicans. They're going to segregate, you know what I mean? Till it's going to be no more segregation. It's going to be, well, it's going to be segregation, but it's going to be a bigger segregation. It's going to be family against family, you know what I mean? As in, your own people going to be against you. You're going to be against your own people for yourself. All right, let's continue. Uh, shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands, rifles, machete, knives, stones, bakubam, you name them. For there shall be sedition among men 
and invading one another. They shall not regard your kings. Sir Andrew and can tell them what to do again. You know, they never bro God. Nor princes. You know what I mean? And the course of their action shall stand in their power. The people they're not as the egg anymore. As a matter of fact, they have more dislike for you at this time. You know what I mean? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? For because of their pride, pride being proud, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Again, why? And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. Famine because people cannot eat. You know what I mean? This is going to be the big turning point when many people say it's too much now and them can't eat. So they are going to take it to the street. And you're not the police person for, for, for defend it. That's a good one. Alright? Let's continue. And for great tribulation. You know what I mean? So, we can cut it there. You know, not to make the video any longer than that. You know, this next piece was in lamentation to show that they own terrorist steps that we cannot enter into the streets. These are the things. The country is on lockdown. It's an emer the country is in a state of emergency. Alright? But for those who have ears to hear, let them hear. For those who want to be stubborn and die, you can go in and do so. You know what I mean? So that I want to say, Kala Lalya, Abba Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, Tabba Anastasia Apostle, the Innocent of James Graham Stone. See what came out there. Shalom.